Hello everyone, this is Ali here from All Saints Isleworth with morning prayer for Monday the 22nd of March. Let's be quiet for a moment as we come into God's presence. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. A prayer of thanksgiving. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory for ever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, your only Son was lifted up, that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross and always be ready to share its weight declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. Our opening prayer. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our psalm today is Psalm 121, a wonderful psalm of safety and comfort and protection. Psalm 121 The Lord shall keep you from all evil. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not suffer your foot to some stumble. He who watches over you will not sleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, neither the moon by night. The Lord shall keep watch over you. The Lord shall keep you from all evil. It is he who shall keep your soul. The Lord shall keep watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth for evermore. The Lord shall keep you from all evil. Lord, ever watchful and faithful, we look to you to be our defence and we lift our hearts to know your help. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our New Testament reading comes from John chapter 11 verses 28 to 44. It's part of the story of Jesus raising Lazarus. Martha went back and called her sister Mary and told her privately, the teacher is here and is calling for you. And when Mary heard it, she got up quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet come to the village but was still at the place where Martha had met him. The Jews who were with her in the house consoling her saw Mary get up quickly and go out. They followed her because they thought that she was going to the tomb to weep there for Lazarus. When Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When 
Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, again greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone was lying against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, already there is a stench because he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth, and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to him, Unbind him and let him go. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. God, who chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. We preach Christ crucified, the power of God and the wisdom of God. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. God forbid that I should suffer glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We come now to our time of prayer. With faith and love and in union with Christ, let us offer our prayer before the throne of grace. Have mercy on your people for whom your son laid down his life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bring healing and wholeness to people and nations and have pity on those torn apart by division. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Strengthen all who are persecuted for your name's sake and deliver them from evil. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Look in mercy upon all who suffer and hear those who cry out in pain and desolation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bring comfort to the dying and gladden their hearts with the vision of your glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give rest to the departed and bring them with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us commend the world for which Christ died to the mercy and protection of God. The Collect for Today Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world. Grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, 
we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Standing at the foot of the cross, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So thank you for joining me for our time of prayer today. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.